Well, it is a bright sunny afternoon here in Missouri and I had just kind of not really a prayer sent to me, but I was thinking back to all the boxes that I've done and it hit me again that a few years ago I did a box for a special needs child in the two to four year old age range. And I think that's something that's a little bit overlooked in Operation Christmas Child. Not that that's, you know, a bad thing or not. I mean, we don't know who these boxes are going to, but I really felt very strongly to pack in what I call an abilities box. Um, I did an internship at Shriners Hospital for Children in Houston and was literally amazed about the things that all these kids could do despite limited arm movement, not having all their fingers, not having their legs. I mean, just inspiring. So, you know, if the, if there's children with special needs here in the U.S., there's children with special needs in every country on this planet. So it's something to think about. Um, you know, special needs boxes, when you're thinking about what kind of things would go in a special needs box, I've got some examples that I got from Walmart and Target here, and I'll share pricing and stuff that I paid. But uh, it's going to be a little bit more costly, um, just mainly because of you have to be a little bit more mindful about what you're putting in the box. Doesn't mean that it's impossible or like completely super expensive because it's not. It just takes a little bit more mindfulness when you're packing a box. So I'm packing for my abilities box for a little boy two to four years old. And the reason I chose a boy, um, through my education, through my student teaching, through my substitute teaching in the classroom, my practicums, I have come to kind of this conclusion that not all, but a lot of disabilities, um, intellectual disabilities affect young boys. Um, so that's why I chose to pack for a younger child, um, for a boy. So um, one of the things that I really liked when I was doing my practicum at Shriners is the O-Ball. And most of them, you'll find them in the infant section. And you're thinking, okay, this is a $5 toy. Yes, it is. It's $4.99. Um, but what's really lovely about this toy is that if a child has maybe two fingers, they can still pick it up. It's very you know, graspable, I don't think that's a word, but it's very easy to, to handle. They can work on um, coordination and their grasping reflexes with this ball. This is a great tool and something you'd really want to put in a special needs box. Another thing that's important is crayons. Now your regular Crayola crayons or Up and Up or Rose Art, the regular kind is not going to cut it for special needs kids. They're going to break and then, you know, what are you going to do with a broken crayon? So you're going to need to get jumbo crayons. <laughs> so Crayola has some pack of eight and these were $2.99 at Target. I checked at Walmart. They're about the same price. They're $2.97. Um, but this is something that, you know, it's easy for them. To, I'm not going to open it because I want it to be new. But um, it's easy for them to hold and grasp. And if, even if they're pressing really hard, it's not going to break, unlike regular crayons. So that's something you want to think about. Another great option, and I've seen these at Michael's, is the triangular shaped crayons. And those are about $5 a box, usually. Unless you can get, you can use a coupon at Michael's and get them for 40 off. So that's an option. Um, but they are easy easier to hold if they're either jumbo or triangular. And I did see that UB at Target had a pack of, I think, 12 triangle crayons for $5. So that's also an option as well. Okay, you'll wanna get some markers. And right now Target up and up has their markers 77 cents. Um, so this is just a pack of 10. Uh, you could get Crayola, but I was looking for more of a budget friendly since we're already spending money on other items special for this box. Um, just save a little money there. Up and up is just as good as Crayola. Alrighty, and we have something to drink out of. So this is a Finding Dory cup. One thing you want to make sure um, when you're getting like utensils and things, you want to try to get stuff that doesn't have any writing on it. Um, you don't know if these children speak English or um, whatever, but and it's hard to find boy or like uh, boy, but um non-violence products 
such as you can't put in, I mean, I was looking at some of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and they have like swords that would not be acceptable. Um, yeah, so just be on the lookout. So like Finding Dory, Thomas the Tank, Paw Patrol, I'm sure there's more. So something to think about. So that was all from Target. So the O-Ball, here's my receipt, O-Ball was $4.99, the Finding Dory cup was $0.92, cents, and the Up and Up markers were $0.77, cents, and then the Crayola Jumbo crayons were $2.99. Okay. So from Walmart. Now I was going to get this little car that's the Fisher-Price Wheelies um, car at Target, but they were completely sold out. So this car, and it is more expensive, but it's Fisher Price. It's a good quality brand. Um, it's suitable for children ages one and a half to five years. It is a girl, but I don't think anyone will really care. So I'm not gonna be, it's not like the US where it's like, oh my goodness. So this car was 247. So it is a little bit of an investment, but it's safe. And it's durable so that's something you need to walk you want to watch out for okay this was a great deal it's a it's called primary it's made in the USA and it was only 74 cents for a pretty great quality fork and spoon so this will go with the cup or I'll probably put it in the box in the cup like this and then I was gonna go to Dollar Tree and get a plate they do have plates at um, Walmart, but they were $1.74, and I can get the same thing at Dollar Tree for a dollar, so why not? Okay. This is not for my special needs box. It was for another two to four year old box that I'm doing, but I thought it was a great deal. It's two, two kid scissors, ages five and up, for um, 97 cents. So this is a Walmart item here. Okay, so we have washcloths. This is a pack of four puppy dog washcloths for small children and I paid, I believe this was $3.48. Yeah. So, um, you know, just this is something good to put in the box. Anyway, I'm not sure if I'll divide them up between the boxes or not or just stick this whole thing in the one box because they probably are limited on washcloths anyway so I'll probably just put the whole thing in there um oh another thing that is important now Walmart this is from Walmart again the safety first has these really soft and cuddly blankets they're usually um they're not with the blankets they're um like on a little clip strip and in the diaper aisle or the bath time aisle and it's a great little blanket and I'll be sure to unwrap it because it is like sewn together or hooked together with a little plastic um, there but this is just a sports themed blanket but they have elephants and I believe flowers as well so I had for the longest time was buying toothbrushes at Dollar Tree for four kid brushes for a dollar well don't do that anymore because we have five good sized kid toothbrushes for one dollar so thank you Walmart this is a great deal um, I'm not sure if I'll put all five in this box because um, I already got all my other toothbrushes but I figured what an awesome deal and it's it looks like it's good quality so one thing I do want to mention is this is the last year and I'll put the link below but I'm not making this up this is the last year you can put in toothpaste and candy they've had um, issues with customs and um, getting the shoe boxes into certain countries and it's getting stricter and harder and um, so this is the last year you can pack toothpaste and candies in your boxes. So, um, you know, I don't know if I'm going to put toothpaste in there this year. I might try to save some money and just get put in soap. But they were saying still pack a toothbrush because they, I guess, basic cleaning by a toothbrush is helpful, you know, to still prevent cavities and, you know, still brushing your teeth even without the toothpaste. And they might have something there you know herbal or whatever so these are just some of my ideas other things for the special a bit special needs box abilities box I have stickers that are like stowed away in my closet I'm gonna put in there um, I'll still need to get a plate and a coloring book from Dollar Tree um, soap from Dollar Tree I was pricing stuff out soap is still the cheapest Dollar Tree three bars for a dollar um, I'm packing now I think it's like 21 boxes this year 
I'm not sure where I'm gonna get all my boxes from. I thought about going to the shoe shops here and seeing if they have anything extra, or I might ask my um, my family to donate money for some plastic boxes because I'm the only one here in Missouri. So um, this is kind of a different year for me. Um, yeah, I think that's all. And then I'll probably add some other little toys. And I wanted to share one other thing. This I'm not putting in the box for obvious reasons. The parts are too small, but Toys R Us of all places has like one dollar, three dollar, and five dollar section in the front. This was three dollars for ten cars. It's a great deal. So um, I'll probably put that in my other box. But anywho, um, yeah, think about it. Really pray about it. See if you can fit it into your budget. Um, you you know you want to try to avoid things like play doh for special ed boxes or really really for boxes that are for two to four year old, just because they might eat it. And it is edible, it's not gonna kill them, but it's kind of a scary thought. So um, I'll be posting more ideas and I'll when I start packing, I'll start doing boxes and I'll show videos of what items I've put in there. So keep up the good work, get those clearance sales. Target does not have their school supplies on clearance yet. I'm thinking it's going to be another next week and maybe another week after because I'm really waiting until the watercolors are super cheap. So good luck, guys. Have fun. Have a good weekend.